Yeah, you remember my invite about possibly having a one-on-one man-to-man talk with you? Yeah, you can go ahead and ignore that considering this person you decide to, you know, back up over your loyal creakers, over your A1 day ones. You know what I'm saying? Your ride or dies. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. <laughs> Intro! Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, Great White Gang? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another expose vidya. And uh, this might be a two for one deal, man, because uh, got some, you know, it's a little dark, um, inappropriate adult things that uh bx beast boy was uh involved with um and uh, apparently this is now the new standard for being considered a creaker i don't make the rules y'all i mean y'all need to go talk to the head of the creakers you know what i mean to see why he is um siding with this person but anyway um Let's go ahead and get into this video, man, because uh, BX Beast Boy is not doing God's work. He's doing the devil's work. So let's go ahead and get right to this video, and you'll see what I mean by liking the hit hit. Well, I don't know about liking the hit hit, but we're going to hit hit. All right, guys, I just got off the phone with BX Beast Boy because I'm 13. I'm a teenager. Goddamn, his voice is adorable. I don't know how old he is, but this sounds amazing. It, it, it genuinely made me feel really ecky actually having a good old time look kind of weird you getting backstage man if i go to michigan you're definitely coming backstage oh sweet, man if he really is a real person that kid then not only that it's kind of creepy given some of the the stuff that was actually spoken about in that discord server and in some of bx's videos these motherfuckers that be talking shit on youtube i got your names brothers what would he do with the male moderators he would want to send us to dig dirt on people. Yo, moniker is beat that ass? Yeah. But it was like, yeah, but you're a gangster who likes K-pop, 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 K-pop. I need everybody watching this to refrain from seeking out anyone mentioned or featured in this video and harassing them in any way. If something has been censored, it's been censored for a reason. So respect that, please. This isn't meant to cancel, deplatform, or shame anybody. Everyone has the right to speak their mind and do what they want with the internet, as long as they aren't taking advantage of others that may be in a vulnerable position. So with that being said, I'm putting this out there to ensure that no one is being victimized, and if they are, well, then that's hey. to stop and right ass now. I'm just here to present the facts and leaving it up to you to figure out what's going on here. Trigger warning. Alleged gaslighting of minors, individuals with mental health issues, and individuals on the spectrum. Also, if you hear cockadoodles in the background, I'm sorry. I own a rooster now and he does what he wants. <laughs> Alright then, let's go. BX Beast Boy is a 30 year old YouTuber that has over a 30 year old YouTuber. This was what three years ago, which means now he's 33 years old. Hmm. The course of 60 years attempted to gain notoriety online via several different usernames, personas, and shade ball tactics. He has stopped at nothing to feed his fragile ego by creating outlandish backstories of fame and success while taking advantage of vulnerable and trusting individuals unfortunate enough to fall into his path. Now while this is somewhat the type of video I usually produce, there will be far less jokes 
Due to the fact that the subject matter I will be dealing with is extremely serious, as it delves into particularly sensitive issues such as predatory behavior and the abuse of both minors and individuals dealing with mental health issues. I also will attempt to narrate this as objectively as possible because I'm sure BX Beast Boy will stop at nothing to attempt to have this video removed as he has done oh, he definitely a whole snitch. in the past with other videos and I believe it is extremely important that the community be notified of this grown man's behavior. Let me just say it is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, not ripping the dog hey. out of this guy. But this is not about me. It's about the alleged victims. So I'm going to spare the theatrics of building up to the most egregious transgressions here because this isn't for views or entertainment. This is so we can stop this bullshit hey. before it gets worse. With that being said, I'm going to jump into the most disgusting hey. shit to prove just how bad it is. And then we'll break down exactly where this guy came from. <laughs> me react to this video. Somebody reacting to me um, following him. Yeah. <laughs> Such a cool kid. <laughs> Did you know you love him? He said I was a cool kid. <laughs> the following videos are from late 2018 from a 13 year old boy's YouTube channel. I have censored his face as well as altered his voice in order to respect his privacy. I have not reached out to him for comment as I do not believe any of this is his fault and he may very well prefer to put this all behind him and I request that no one else look for his page either. At some point in late 2018, BX Beast Boy reached out to this child on what appeared to be Twitter. I repeat, the child did not find him, BX Beast Boy reached out to him. At the so BX Beast Boy sought out this 13 year old boy. Keep that in mind. Tom, BX Beast Boy's Twitter following was approximately 50,000 followers, and this obviously impressed the young boy to the point that he made a video and posted it to his YouTube page, expressing how exciting it was that a Twitter user with such a substantial following was now showing him attention by following him back. Remember that follower account for later. At this time, BX Beast Boy was in his late 20s, approximately 28 as he is 30 years old now. Hmm. Now any responsible adult upon seeing a young supporter post a video like this may just like the video. Perhaps I would even leave a comment of gratitude for the support. But BX Beast Boy, being the narcissist he is, in need of self-gratification, decided to make an entire video reacting to the young boy's video and posted it on his very own YouTube channel. While this is already, in my opinion, weird as f hey. he decides to act like this throughout the entire video. I f this kid. I'll teach him how to rap. He might be my artist eventually. I'm high as f right now. I probably won't even remember doing this. Now, while it is wildly irresponsible to act like this reacting to a 13 year old boy's video, you know, glorifying being high and all, to me, it doesn't even seem like he's high. It's almost like he's putting on some sultry voice and cool attitude like he was a teenager himself trying to impress a love interest, maybe? Allegedly. Then again, that is just my speculation. Obviously, the child found this to be so cool he made his own video reacting to BX Beast Boy's reaction. In fact, that's the only way I even found out about Beast Boy's original reaction video because he has since deleted it from his own channel. Now, why would he do that? Yeah, that is a little sus. So what? You needed a bunch of a grown folks or people who understand well enough? Like, dude, it's weird for a grown man who was in his late 20s at the time, now in his early 30s, following a teenage boy and making a video about said teenage boy. And then you go and you take it down. Again, that's what today that's what it takes to be today's creaker. Hmm. So now at this point, I would hope everybody watching this is completely bugging out and hope And by the way, full full disclosure, I did tell Church about this video. Um I invited him to go watch Triple T's live because Triple T played this video. And um Yeah, I don't think uh 
old boy has um since then denounced his connection with beast boy or not so but all i know is that uh he made a video talking about me wouldn't say my name and um i put it out there like yo dog even though you you know we're talking shit about me in a video but i'll say my name I'm still willing to have a grown man conversation with you but since you're still as far as we know you're still associated with bx beast boy yeah i don't think that conversation is going to happen anytime soon so you can go ahead and ignore that invite and you can keep trolling me with your alt accounts all you want dude i see you now you're you're a freaking overgrown child right 33 year old man try to be on some man shit but yet you got time to be a kid and be on some alt accounts trolling me hmm, okay hoping that it ended there no it did not end there at some point it appears that this child and beast boy and I especially don't want to talk to you knowing that this is the kind of company you want to keep. Because you know what they say about the company that you keep? You are the company that you keep. And weren't you the one who exposed Shane Dawson a few years ago? Well, I guess now we can put you in that same club as Shane Dawson now, can we? Because you know damn well I don't rock with PDF files. And yes, I had to say it like that because I, you know, that word's a no-no word. And I sure as fuck don't support pdf file supporters so uh yeah we, we we is good bro we is good anyone and anyone still wants to rock with the head of the creakers i mean y'all y'all go right ahead that's that says what i need to know about y'all i'm good exchange contact information which somehow culminated in an over 20 minute unmonitored recorded conversation that this 13 year old boy then posted to his YouTube channel. Again, there is no trace of anything like this on BX Beast Boy's current channel. In fact, Beast Boy's channel has been completely scrubbed in the past few months, only going back as far like nine or ten months ago. Hmm. Yet he forgot to pay as much attention. Actually, three months ago. I think he put a caption for that, right? Let me see. Again, there is no trace of anything like this on BX Beast Boy's current channel. In fact, Beast Boy's channel has been completely scrubbed in the past few months, only going back as far like nine or ten months ago. Yeah, see, actually three months now, he must be getting nervous. I wonder why. Yet he forgot to pay as much attention to his Facebook page. <laughs> More on that later. Now, of course, his 20-minute conversation is labeled as an interview on the Teen Boy's channel, but there are many instances that come off extremely absurd. Mm. Yeah, man, I watched some of your videos. You're pretty dumb. What the heck was that? He did a little moan. Mm. Yeah, man, I watched some of your videos. You're pretty dope. Why are you watching this boy's videos and giving him feedback? He yeah, a grown adult man in his late 20s is watching a 13 year old boy on the internet and giving him feedback. He gave a very creepy moan while talking to him. That is creepy as you know what. And he's a creaker? He didn't ask for that. The first person that gave me attention for rap was Fergie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a, a chance to um, freestyle for her one day, and she told me that, like, I was next. Fergie, bro? Really? Where'd you meet Fer Fergie? <laughs> yeah, and she said, okay, you're next. You got certain rappers that they portray a gangster image when they're not really that gangster. Hey, what's going on? Uh, says the guy who's wearing, wearing a shirt that says, I'm your OG. You got certain rappers that... They portray a gangster image when they're not really that gangster. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your friendly neighborhood gangster, BXB's boy. There are multiple instances where you hear a baby screaming in the background. And I hope most of my supporters don't think like that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Um, speaking of uh, X, um, speaking of uh, X, so there's a child crying in the background and it just got smacked. When you're thir 13 and like doing YouTube, that's hard because you can't, you can't have what other people have, have to do YouTube. You can't have what other people have to do YouTube. 
young love trouble man? Oh, of course, man. Like, you're young, you're around doing just dumb stuff with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Another opportunity to be an adult and not gloat, but he shows off. Oh, of course, man. Doesn't he kind of sound like he's talking to a girl on a date? Like, bro. Dog, he does, doesn't he? he it looks. It sounds like he's he's using that. That oh, I hate to say it, man, because of who he's saying, because who's he he's using it on. But I mean, that's that sed seductive tone that men use when they talk to women. You know, when they're like really into them, when they're really interested in them. He's using that tone on a thirteen-year-old boy. And again, this is someone you want to have in your corner, bro. You do realize you are the company that you keep, right? So if you're willing to have someone like that in your corner, what does that say about you? Oh, raise your voice. This is a child you're on the phone with. Oh, I actually seen the video you was talking about that. I was wondering what happened. But oh, shit, I'm glad you're okay. Something about the way he says that is so fucking creepy to me. Oh, I actually seen the video you was talking about that. I was wondering what happened. I was wondering what happened. But oh, shit, I'm glad you're okay. Like, have you ever been to um, Michigan? Nah, I haven't. Not yet. I definitely will, especially if I go on tour with this album. Yeah, you getting backstage, man. If I go to Michigan, you're definitely coming backstage. Now, why would he bring a 13-year-old boy backstage with him? Oh, sweet, man. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. He didn't... Right? give him the chance to say you know can i come backstage or oh that'd be cool no no no. you're coming backstage for what i guess that's it cool if you got yeah, any man. more questions just let me know man hey yeah if you got any more questions just let me know man he just opens the door for more communication you know unmonitored not letting this child's parents know that you're opening the door for more communication. Hey, man, just hit me up. Because 30-year-old men should be talking to 13-year-old boys. But I digress. Bruh. Bruh. There is no evidence to suggest that this boy's parents had any idea that he was having one-on-one -on -one conversations with a grown man. And one could say it's extremely irresponsible of Beast Boy to be speaking with his child, particularly in this manner. And this is how the conversation went down when he was being recorded. It's safe to say there has at least been one other conversation between the two of them, if not more. Unfortunately, these types of interactions between Beast Boy and young teenagers become a trend the more you dig into his various personas and alternate accounts across the internet. One of the most disturbing correlations I have found is that if you were to view a BX Beast Boy live stream, you would see very quickly that the majority of his active chatters tend to be women, single mothers to be specific. And as I will point out throughout this video, the BX Beast Boy community is the revolving door of scorned and disgruntled moderators and supporters. So every few months he has a whole new group of followers unaware of his true motives. New groups of followers complete with new groups of their children that may not have as much supervision as possible due to the fact that they have working mothers struggling to pay the bills and, you know, possibly send a few donations into BX Beast Boy. Makes you wonder why a 30 year old man that has boasted his gangsterness ways, raps, and loves anime is so interested in doing videos on Micah Stauffer, Eight Passengers, and Jeffree Star. But I'll let you draw your own conclusions. Moving over to the BX Beast Boy Facebook page, on the surface, it looks like a place for him to just spam his videos, post boomerisk memes, and pretty much get ignored by whoever follows the page. And essentially, that is exactly what it is, but he obviously does not pay as much attention to the censoring of this page as he does his other social networks. So some unfavorable posts tend to slip through the cracks. For example, 
Back in January, another one of his underage fans decided to cover the BX Beast Boy song titled Good Boy. And BX Beast Boy, being the narcissist he is, couldn't help but post this video to his YouTube channel and Facebook page, reacting to this child essentially singing to him about being a good boy. You know, just to prove to all those people with Dude, what the fuck? Like, no, seriously, what in the actual fuck? Refusing to give him likes on his awesome Facebook posts that he has a huge audience that loves and supports him. And yes, this video is just as disturbing as the previous ones. Complete with calling the obviously prepubescent boy adorable. God damn, his voice is adorable. I don't know how old he is. Urging him to get sexy with it. And act like you didn't try to get sexy. And more. You try to get freaking real quick for me. I like to watch. God damn, his voice is adorable. I don't know how old he is. Urging him to get sexy with it. And act like you didn't try to get sexy. And more. You try to get freaky real quick for me. I like to watch Tell it. Don't be afraid. So I can tell that you're getting tired. Man, I want to hear that. I'm about to get up out of my seat. Hold on, I won't do that. Hold on. He obviously knew something about this wasn't right, so he decided to unlist it. Why he didn't delete it, I don't know. But I. So he still has the video up on his channel. It's just unlisted. Oh, is it actually privated? Is that what that said? Let me see. Yeah, it's actually privated now. Oh, so he privated the video. Didn't even delete the video. He privated the video. Until what? Until YouTube says it's okay for you to post content like that? Hmm. But I would assume it's so he can show people, aka other minors, how much his fans love his music. Again, I don't see how any adult can think this behavior is okay, nor do I understand what gives him the idea that it is kosher to communicate so intimately with such young children. As far as how he has amassed such a large following with a demographic of primarily single mothers and teenage boys, well, I have my own theory about that. One of the most suspicious things about the rapidly growing BX Beast Boy channel is the ratios of subscribers to actual views. Aside from the SEO friendly Stauffer videos and a few other stragglers, most of his videos barely break 2,000 views, if they even break 1,000. Generally, his live streams struggle to break 100 viewers, and he doesn't receive much engagement for a channel with 11,000 plus subscribers and climbing. His Twitter, which boasts an impressive 50,000 followers, rarely gets a retweet or like. Beast Boy obviously called out for this in the past, now has a disclaimer claiming all his followers are ghost. Whatever that means. But in a now deleted video, responding to one of his previous detractors, he claims his Twitter blew up for something a long time ago. Okay, well what? In reality, when you look at the screenshot that the 13 year old boy that interviewed him posted in his video about Beast Boy following him, you can see that back then his followers to following count were almost identical. If you were to look at it now, he only follows a few people yet still has tons of followers. I would assume this was one of those follow for follow farming schemes that or just bought it. Either way, it's obvious bullshit, hey. something you will see Beast Boy is full of on a regular basis. Heading over to Social Blade to check on his YouTube stats, it is clear to see that the numbers look fuckwit. Right around the time a YouTube channel by the name of Zales and Destroy released a video exposing Beast Boy, in which one of his smaller arguments was that he did not have a large following, it appears that BX Beast Boy's channel started receiving random large infusions of subscribers, yet the views just didn't match up. One would assume, in order to get the edge over sales and destroy, as well as rubbing his face that he was wrong about the channel not having a large following, Beast Boy probably spent some of his stimulus check 
on some shiny new subs. But just the subs weren't going to prove how much people loved him. Beast Boy probably decided the best way to fake a community of adoring fans would be to buy some comments as well. And see, Beast Boy didn't go cheap with his comments. Nah, he wasn't going to buy some random generic comments. He searched for real comments from real people as advertised on tons of sites now. Which brings me to my... So he has bot views, bot subs, bot comments. He went to one of those third party sites. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Theory. Generally, what demographic... So he's a little cheater, a little shit stirrer, a liar, and he's a creep. And that's the kind of person you want in your corner, my guy. Really? Really? Okay. Would probably be trying to earn some extra cash by watching drama videos on YouTube and commenting on them. Well, that's right, single mothers. Single mothers with teenage kids that are home all the time now because of the virus and quite possibly may hear their mom in the background watching the live stream of that cool rapper guy with 50,000 Twitter followers that just finished sliding into their DMs asking for their opinion on his sweet new song, Good Boy. Good Boy. Allegedly. Regardless of how it happened or whatever trickery Beast Boy is using, the growth doesn't appear to be organic. And even if it is, that's not even the whole of the issue. That's not the issue at all. The issue is his behavior regarding minors, as well as his supporters, which I have yet to still get into. But before I do that, we need to backtrack a little bit. I mean, how did this nobody even pop up on my radar? What led me to discover this despicable character and what would have even led me to do such a deep dive on him? And trust me, I didn't go looking for this hey. shit. But in fact, he came looking for himself. The same way he goes looking for vulnerable people on the internet. For real, in fact, you can tell Bo Black she got the black card. I got him. So a few months ago, YouTuber Bo Blacks retweeted BX Beast Boy, requesting small commentary channels that are willing to debate contact him. Now while I had never heard of him, I saw that Bo Blacks followed him as well as a few other creators I know of, and the dude had 50,000 followers, so why not jump onto a live stream and debate for some fun and exposure? I DM'd BX Beast Boy, he gave me a link to his Discord, and within an hour, I was slated to come on and debate on his live channel the following day with another small creator. What was the topic I'd be debating? Whether Pokemon is a thought or not. Yeah. Now that should have been the first sign that Beast Boy was a hack, but he was a fellow black slash minority creator, and he didn't seem that bad. Being untalented and unimaginative is not a crime. So most people might say this was an attempt for me to cloud chase, a social climb, and that's just not accurate at all. Yeah, I want to be seen. So if someone with a large following is going to invite me to participate in a video or a live stream, then yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm not making videos so no one sees them. I'm going to chase that exposure. The difference with me is I'm not going to compromise my integrity for that exposure. Hey, amen, my dude. Hell yeah, keep, man, bruh, keep grinding and stay on that truth grind too, you know what I mean, bruh. And with that, I'm gonna explain how the rest of this went. The next day, I jump on the stream, my opponent doesn't show up, and Beast Boy decides to debate me himself. I received praise from both him and his viewers, which was like 20 viewers tops, but I was grateful nonetheless. To show my gratitude, I told him I'd be there to help support his channel. I would retweet his video notifications and would give him feedback whenever he requested it. Fast forward a week and he asked me to come on his live stream to do live reactions. Yeah, live reactions. That should have been sign of it too, but I was excited nonetheless just to have something to do and I thought riffing off each other would be fun. Then I got to the stream and there was barely anybody watching and sign number three came up. 
He wanted to react to Beyond Scared Straight or whatever that show with kids in jail is called. And wait for it, he also wanted to react to Catfish. You know, I should have suggested we do something that would actually be entertaining, but I didn't want to overstep my bounds and there was like nobody in the chat anyway. So if anything, it was just a time wasted while supporting another small creator. After it was all said and done, Beast Boy told me he'd be uploading both the debate and the reaction stream to his live stream channel and we'd do some more work together in the future. That was cool. Throughout the week though, I started noticing a really palpable tension in his Discord server. His mods requirements were more focused on them stroking his ego and doing his every bit of bidding rather than keeping his server in line. It would get really awkward to the point where it was almost like the female mods were kind of like his girlfriends or something. The shit was odd. I didn't really talk too much in there aside from some pleasantries with some of the more down to earth people. Soon Beast Boy asked me to be a mod and I'd never done that shit, but I figured it'd be okay since he had like six other mods for a server with like 20 total members. Again, I was trying to support a fellow small creator, right? My participation started dwindling and the salt started to become obvious with Beast Boy. Not to mention he would eventually post his streams, albeit cutting out most of my participation in order to make himself seem funnier, I guess. And then he would delete them like a day after. <laughs> I got the hints of jealousy early on and I kind of saw where things were going. At the same time, a couple of my most diehard supporters, really I would call them friends at this point, we're getting in my ear a little bit about how Fugazi Beast Boy really was. I tried to pay no mind, but then Beast Boy started trying to get me to like participate in his beefs with some other people that came for his ass recently on YouTube. More on their stories in a minute, and I just wasn't with that shit. Hey. Especially when he came out of nowhere with some paranoid ass story about someone confronting him in the streets with a camera. Which then led to him to want to stop streaming. I don't know, this shit was hella bizarre. He made a big deal out of it in the Discord, and one of his mods, we'll call him Z, because surprise, surprise, he's 14 years old, huh. if he even really exists. Huh. They said they had some sort of street beef with someone, and he got all boys in the hood with it. I get embarrassed for him just thinking about it. it it's just all so, it's so cringe. I pretty much decided to put this Beast Boy situation in my back pocket as wreck at this point and I must admit, I would lightly troll him to test his chin. He said he wanted to stop cursing on his live stream so I came on and praised him but then told everyone to suck my dick if they didn't like the praise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know I did that. I stuck in a phrase from Zale's video to see if he could get the reference. And I overall just stopped paying attention to his bullshit needy behavior in his server. The next mistake I made was letting some of my followers know I thought Beast Boy was getting jealous and that he deleted the streams featuring me. They decided to essentially go ahead and call him a hack on a few of his videos for being a lazy reaction channel and Beast Boy got mad and kicked me out as a moderator. At least I think that's what happened. Some people said it was because I wasn't there to protect him when he was getting attacked during a live stream or something, but I don't know and I really don't care. This led to him having a meltdown, calling me via Discord where Shrena and I trolled him, even invited him to my house by giving him my real address. He blocked me, wigged out on all his mods, except for Z. He used him as the world's worst spy later and nuked the channel. All in all, it was a little extra insensitive, especially. Yeah, I heard something about him removing his Discord server. She for a guy like that, but little did I know, the fun was just beginning. All right, y'all. So, wow. Just wow. So BX Beast Boy is a whole creepo talking to teenagers, hitting up single mothers. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Beast Boy, Beast Boy, Beast Boy. 
you done fucked up. And to the Cricker man, who seems to be on his side, he done fucked up too. Because you know the old saying, you are the company that you keep. And if that's the company you want to keep in your corner, then dude, I don't want to say you're a Shane Dawson fan, but I mean... If it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, odds are it must be a duck. I'm just saying, y'all. So, uh, yeah. Really hope y'all enjoyed this little expose video. If you did, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Um, I'm going to check out the rest of this. If there's any more, like, interesting facts, um, I will come back. I'll do, I'll do a part two for this. Um, yeah, we'll definitely review this some more. Um. But, man, I think we pretty much know now who the real BX Beast Boy really is. Oh, man. Wood chipping time, y'all? I'm just saying. But, anyway. <laughs> like I said, like, comment, share, and, of course, subscribe. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right? It's your boy, Jason JV, checking out. Peace. Whew. Oh, by the way, raise hell, eat garlic bread. Let's go. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badger. I'm going to have the next video. 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 So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!